So that's what we come out for right there. That's a BFT. Big friggin' trout. Welcome back everyone. Another adventure in the Haynesville woods. I'm gonna go fishing today. I'm actually headed into a spot I haven't been in years. Um, the only times I ever fished it was uh, when we do the canoe trips. Spend it overnight. Uh, you get down to where the stream dumps into the river. And it's a good stretch of river, a lot of big holes, as I remember. And uh, well, last year during training season, we got uh, running a bear and I got pretty close to it uh, in the truck. So that's where we're headed today. But I just stopped because I saw something that always gets me excited even though we get a little over a month before we can start training hounds, but. <clears throat> this bear scat. So, we'll be back in here come July. <laughs> looking for bears to run. So, anyway, we're getting close to the river now. It's uh, kind of a bumpy long ride in here. We're in the middle of nowhere, so. We'll, uh, we'll get down there, the bugs are out, so we'll uh, put some bug spray on, gear up, and hike down to the river. Good one to eat. Nice native Maine brook trout. I saw him. Well, I saw one come completely out of the water down there, and I had a couple hits, but I know there's more fish in there. That's a great spot. That stream dumps in right here. When I get done fishing, we get ready to move down. I'll, I'll show you where it comes in and the holes and everything, but real good spot. It's as good as I remember it, so I'm glad I made the trip today.
Well, this one looked like Jaws coming after it the first time. I could see him swimming up behind that Hornberg when I was dragging it back up through the current. And uh, <laughs> I jumped the gun and pulled it right away from him, but he came back the next time around. So if we get one more, we got enough for supper. And then we're just having fun. So you can see the little stream comes in right there and this is the river coming down here and those fish are just laying the back end of these little uh, rifts right here feeding on nymphs and I'm seeing some mayflies here and there and I've actually seen a, a couple rises so but I'm guessing mainly they're just getting nymphs floating down well it's about noon now the uh Downriver from where that stream come in didn't prove to be much. The water's real low. Another, and normally I'm fishing this, it's got at least six inches higher, maybe a foot higher. So, you know, the holes just aren't there right now. So, I know where I am on the river, and I'm looking at Google Earth right now, figuring out how to get out of here. And I think I cut up through the woods here. I'll get into a cut and I can follow a twitch trail up to the road I'm parked on and it'll be a bit of a walk a mile or so back to the truck once I get to the road, but better than bushwhacking along the river and through the woods here. So we'll uh well we'll find some fish this afternoon I'm sure. Try a new spot. Bigger holes probably. So but it's a beautiful day so far. Other than the wind, I'm blowing in my face all day, having to let the current do most of my most of the work for me. I uh, tangled up quite a bit there. It gets a little frustrating, but that's fly fishing for you. So, well, let me get out of here, get back to the truck, and come up with a game plan for this afternoon. Well, I got a plan for the afternoon slash evening. It's uh, late afternoon right now, I guess, four o'clock. A little after. Uh, headed way up river. One of my favorite spots. It's just a great stretch of river. A lot of big holes. Um, it's a long, bumpy ride in. And I just started a long walk up there, so we got a <laughs> Cross the river and then walk about a half mile up there. That's where I'm gonna start fishing. So but it's usually productive. I hope it is this time, but we'll find out. Stay tuned.
Electro.
that's what we come out for right there. That's a BFT. Big friggin' trout. Got him on the Hornberg. He probably 15, 16 inches. Big old breeder. We'll get him back here. Let him live. Make more. There's another one, another big one, one probably 12, 13 inches. Worth the ride up here, that's for sure.
So as much as I hate to, I'm gonna have to call it a day. It's starting to get dark. I can hear some thunder rumbling, but we had a pretty good afternoon, really got into them, so. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed fishing with me today. But, uh, it's a pretty good day. We'll, uh, there'll be some more like it. The uh, fish will start biting. We to get some rain tonight. And hopefully get some more rain this week or soon because we're going to need it. But made the long trek into this stretch of river. I come, try to come here at least once a year. And uh, usually produces. It's, it's worth the effort to get in here. So appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you next time.